back at Universal's Islands of Adventure, where it all started. Today's our four year vlogiversary. Four years. Four years of doing this crazy YouTube experiment. A lot can happen in four years. Right. A lot of people earn degrees, like bachelor's degrees in four years. You could say, I now have a BS degree in YouTube. What can you ever? <laughs> so, let's go around the park. What, you have something else to say? No, I, I think that led in just fine. Yeah, I've got a BS degree now. Yes, you do. Not you a... take it two ways. <laughs> Sometimes people get a BA, I have a BS. Uh-huh, what that BS stands for? <laughs> We all know. <laughs> Let's take a stroll around memory lane. Yes. So what we used to do before we started vlogging, every Sunday we would rush out to Islands of Adventure and the first thing, the very first thing we would do is ride the Incredible Hulk roller coaster. And in honor of our four year vlog anniversary, let's take another turn on it, honey. Sounds like a great time. Woohoo! Woo! Sorry, there are metal detectors. You can't get on the Hulk with anything like your keys or a camera. So you guys have to go into a locker. Bye. Four years later, still one of our favorite rides in the park. Absolutely. Although I think for you, Hagrid may be making a run for it. Oh yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Both are a lot of fun. Yes. It's funny, after all these years, you know, I really don't go in the arcade, but just the other day I noticed this. It's like one of those photo booths, except you get your photo and then like, you get yourself on a comic book cover. That is amazing. Honestly, we need to try it. Maybe, I don't know, you wanna do, it's $10 though. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like $10 to do that. But it's awesome. So the Hulk has always been one of our favorites, but what we really need to do right now for our four year vlog anniversary, is make our way to the ride that really started the channel. But before we get to that ride and leave Marvel Superhero Island, Spider-Man, just a 15 minute wait, let's do it. Here's a look at the extended queue, which I never do this because I never go on this ride when it's so busy, but because they're doing work at the front of the queue, we're taking the back of the queue. Listen, Scope. Crime reports are coming in from all over the city and I'm starting to get worried. Did you see that? The spider signal! Was Spider-Man nearby? Trouble can't be far away. And you know what trouble means. Headlines! National coverage! So don't screw this up! This could be the most dangerous night of my life. And yours. Be careful. Nice shades. as always, I like at the end of the ride where Spider-Man says, don't quit your day job. I just got a BS degree in YouTube. I'm not gonna quit. Oh, goodness. And now that we have the Spider-Man detour out of the way, we can make our way to the ride that really started the channel. Kong Skull Island. Our channel probably would not exist if they hadn't built this ride. Very true. Let's go take it for a turn and we'll explain how Kong made Rick's flicks. Prior to us having a YouTube channel, we coached soccer. So I primarily use YouTube to find soccer drills. So we were here visiting, you know, one day, riding the Hulk, walking around, and they had these construction walls up here at Kong. And I was like, I wonder what they're building here. I bet I can figure it out on YouTube. So I started using YouTube to kind of research the parks and what was happening with this construction. I did find out it was Kong, but as a result, I discovered theme park vlogging. And eventually, I said, I'm gonna do that myself. And when he first had the idea, we thought, you're nuts, what the heck? We know nothing about anything having to do with videography or you know any of that stuff. 
So the girls and I, we were just like, you're crazy. Right, I don't have a background in media. I wasn't like a theater geek where I like performing for people. And, and you know, in fact, kind of an introvert. Yes, you were. So what would happen is we would visit the parks every Sunday. And then by Wednesday, when we couldn't get to the parks, we were missing it. So we would go on YouTube, watch some of the theme park vlogging and stuff like that. So if they had not started building Kong and I wasn't curious what they were doing, there may not be a Rick's Flicks today. Now, when it comes to the Kong ride itself, I do have a couple of recommendations. I do recommend that you ask for the back row, middle of the back. Yes. You see more of the screen and the action that way. And the other recommendation is when you get to the big animatronic Kong, there's no need for your 3D glasses. Take them off and enjoy Kong with your own eyes. There's your two recommendations for today. Well, it is lunch time. No better time for lunch. Let's head into Thunder Falls. So for today's lunch in Thunder Falls, Nikki went with the chicken rice bowl, which I featured in a video previously. And then I went back to my classic, the rotisserie chicken platter. Now the rice bowl is around 15 bucks and the chicken platter is around 14. So that was our lunch inside of Thunder Falls. We ate inside today. Yeah. It was nice because it's not like a crowded day. You know, usually when you're in a theme park restaurant, that's all like noisy, kids are screaming and stuff like that. Yeah. It was very pleasant inside. Yeah, and honestly, it was super cute. They had these little tiny baby birds just kind of floating around, just yeah. twittering. It was just, uh, it was awesome. Now, so nice. now to the food. I'll go first if you don't mind. Okay, you go first. Because I got my standard. It was the uh, the chicken platter. Yeah. Which is for chicken. Right. So that was good as always. Like, I enjoyed the chicken. I enjoyed the potatoes. I did not enjoy the corn as much today for some reason. Oh. Green, splash, splash. <laughs> maybe I just was not in the mood for corn. Maybe, or you just maybe just got a piece that wasn't as ripe as normal. I don't know. Usually I like the corn better, but overall that's one of my go-to dishes. I really like it. I, it's a recommendation, in fact. Oh, uh, <laughs> we're gonna keep using that, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. In fact, you took me up on one of my recommendations, didn't I you? With did. yours. What I, was it? I did. I was gonna go get the little the little ball, the potato ball, over yeah. at one of the stands. And I was like, no, 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 I'm gonna try the rice bowl today. Oh my God, it was so good. It was probably, <laughs> it's probably the best, like quick service. Well, I mean, it's quick service, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah quick service. Oh, quick I'm service. getting wet. Um, yeah, a little bit of a mist, yes. <laughs> yes. Not for my hair. Anyway, um, so, but. The rice bowl. Yes, the rice bowl was, Probably the best quick service like food yes. I've, I've ever had. At Island? Yeah, I would say so. Even better than the the patty. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah, so very filling, and then the little plantain at the end was like dessert, like a little mini dessert. It was so good. Well, I'm glad you took me up on my recommendation. I loved it. This is where we were standing for our post lunch interview. Nikki was all concerned she might get splashed, but of course we did not. But Hopefully I'm timing this well enough where we can catch a scream splash laugh right now. And if I'm not, I'll just edit it as if I did. Wow, I was way off with the timing. I've been standing here for like a minute. Oh. There we go, I got it. Okay, let's make our way through the Jurassic Park area now. I had someone send me a picture the other day of the Jurassic Park, world, I should say the Jurassic World Velocicoaster on the map, but I just checked the app and I can't see it, but someone did send me a picture of that on the app. Oh, nice. Nikki has found a couple things in Jurassic Outfitter she wants to check out, but check it out. The word Outfitter is gone from the signage. So this little section here, this little collection of Jurassic Park merchandise, a little different. But what Nikki really likes is this backpack. It's, it's soft. It's furry. It's so fluffy. <laughs> it's fluffy. How much is it? 55. Oh, wow. Did you want that? I kind of do. Oh, that's is that the, weird? Well, that's the backpack. They have a little uh, a fanny pack as well. Is that three prong? Yes. 
Oh, that would work on Hagrid's. Yes, it would. So this is kind of a different uh, collection than I've seen before. Mainly because we got the logo here is all green. Can you check out, give me a price check on that shirt, Nikki? 35. 35 for that shirt. You know, it's got the, uh, the camo and the all green logo. And 55 for the, for the hoodie. And 55 for the hoodie. I think this is a newish collection. Haven't seen it before, but it's kind of cool. It is. The green's kind of like an army jeep green. Yeah. And you got the, uh, of course, the camo. So it's a pretty nice collection. I know you really like that furry backpack. I do. And when it comes to merchandise that is sold in Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, right. I think Jurassic Park, Jurassic World has the best and they refresh it the most it seems like. Yeah, there's a, a bit like a, a faster turnover yes. with their merchandise of new stuff new coming stuff. in. Yeah. Some really great finds. We should do a whole vlog on the uh, outfit here. Yeah, I would agree. Well, back onto the subject of our four year vlog anniversary. You have any, what would you say is the biggest surprise for you? I have mine. I'll go first, I'll let you think. Okay. But for me, one thing totally unexpected was meeting viewers. Yeah, I'm honestly, you just took mine, really. That's not why we started it at all, but it's such a wonderful, happy, pleasant, like, gift, you know? Yeah, it was not even, like, a thought of mine when I thought, you know, when I came up with the idea of having the channel. Yeah, we're so humbled by the love that we, you know, have been shown by our, like, subscribers and stuff. It, it's just amazing. It's my biggest surprise and, like, one of my favorite things about vlogging. Me too. And one thing we're always trying to do with the channel is switch things up, have a variety of things. You know, I started just doing like one vlog a week. We're up to three vlogs a week. I do a, we do the news show, we do a live stream, and we have started with Nikki doing some specialty projects. That's right. And we've started one recently, the pop-up video, mm -hmm. which we give early access to that to our patrons and our channel members. But then we do release it to the general public. Yep. And you're having a good time with that, right? I am. I love doing the research behind it and the, you know, the animation and things like that. Yeah. So yeah, it's been, it's been a fun experience, definitely. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a retro feel for people our age who remember VH1 and things like that. That's so. true. And then it's got a little bit of history in it. It's got a little bit of like us in it. Mm -hmm. It's got, you know, so yes. it's an awesome combination of a bunch of things that came together that. I really like it. I'm enjoying it. Well, I know it. you're having fun building the videos. Yeah. Uh, which I said, we do give early access. That's a little reward for being a patron or a channel member. Yes. We give you early access to that. So you might want to consider doing that. If not, it's okay. We do release those videos over time to the general public. Mm -hmm. I have another thing to say about meeting people, and it's the Universal team members. Absolutely. I'm here so much. They're <laughs> almost like coworkers. Yeah. You know, I meet everyone from the uh, the cleaning crew, which everyone on the cleaning crew seems like they know me. I talk to them. They're so fantastic. So friendly, all the way up to like people who are like in charge of food and stuff like that. So yes. the team members, I love them. Yeah, they totally make us smile every time we're here. Sure do. Yeah, make us feel special. It's so sweet. They're make just, me feel welcomed. They sure do. They're just awesome. Well, what did you think of your walk through Jurassic Park? It looks pretty complete, right? Yeah, and I, more foliage, more greenery again. Missed it, you know, before it was yeah. just like all open and hot. It's got so good flow. It does, it's got much better flow now. You didn't even see the so construction walls. I had to point those out to you. Yeah, honestly, I walked right by, I'm not even paying attention to it because it's just so nice now. Looking good, my friends. Okay, into Hogsmeade, as I think we're going to go on Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure. A fun time on Hagrid's as always. Um, we went with a viewer. Yeah, thanks Jody. Yeah, thank you Jody. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, I had yeah. a blast with you. Super fun. And also, I should note the first pop-up video that we did uh -huh. was Hogsmeade. It is. Make sure you check it out. Some cool info on this ride right here. That's right. Here's something I haven't shown much. I think only maybe once in four years, but here in the Lost Continent, the Master Coin Mentors, Right in there. You know what, let's just go check it out. How about coming down? Let's try again. Bam. 
I heard they get hammered a lot here. More, we do. Yes. First, loaded and have it. first it's got to get loaded, then it gets hammered. Ah, oh, that's how it works. Never reverse that. When you'll dry fire the whole works. Well, before that, it gets cranking. <laughs> oh, I love a good pun. Oh, oh that's a 150 pound hammer. But they will, uh, all the coins and things they'll do here for you. Right next to the kebab stand is where this place is. And there's one side. And on the other side, the Viking. There we go. And how much is it to do like the cost for this? Oh, this Malord, the bronze, is $23.95 plus the tax of the Sultan. Here's a little price board I see here. Custom minted coins and medallions. Choose two designs, bronze, $23.95. Uh, the pewter's $29.95. Pure silver, I mean .99, pure silver is $85. And then a 24 karat layered gold, $160. And here's a closer look at some of the like designs I guess they'll put on it. Thank you guys, have a good day. This is so cool. Now this is not official like Harry Potter stuff, but they will be getting a badger die pretty soon and they already have a griffin and a lion. So if you're Gryffindor, you might want to come over here and get one of these coins. So that's a cool little shop you don't want to miss out on, but I think what we're going to do now is Nikki has not been on the mummy since it's been refurbished, so we're going to go ride the mummy. Alright, we've made it to the mummy. I don't think I'm going to use a locker, but I am wearing my new Ray-Ban. And this is the ride I lost my expensive Oakleys on. That's true. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. So I'm going to give it another shot and we'll see what happens. Okie dokie. Oh boy, if I lose these glasses. You're in trouble. I can save you now. There is no escape. Your end shall be my beginning. And we just got off of the mummy. I still have my sunglasses. Ah, oh, success. Didn't lose the Ray Bans like I did the Oakleys. That's right. For years, I just went with like cheap $20 sunglasses. Perfect. Come rough on them. Yes. Especially in a theme park. Oh, yeah, totally. But I digress. Take your chance. I digress. <laughs> um, what do you think of the updates to the mummy? Oh, my gosh. The visuals are super clear. Like, oh, yeah. I love, like, the crispy video. Crispy like video. Exactly. Yeah. And then um, it just seemed like there was, like, more graphics during the ride yes, itself. Yes, yes, because the dark, it is a dark ride. Yeah, and then at one point I even caught a, another car going by, yeah. like at one angle when we were going straight, they were kind of going this way. I've never seen <laughs> another cart in there before, so it was really cool. I see that all the time. Oh, you <laughs> That's do? nothing new. Yeah, I've seen oh. it all the time. Well, I never noticed before, and I noticed it today because I was looking. <laughs> but the graphics to the left and the right, and some like you even go like right through. Yes, yeah, I like the, the mouth when he like opens up to yeah. like when the, the shootout. Yes. Oh, yes. so good. So, yeah. So the updates are Nikki approved. Oh, 100%. Looking good. Great. Yes. Well, it's been a fun day. It's been a fun four years. Yeah. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed and have watched the channel. Yes, thank you so much, guys. And now that I have my BS degree, maybe I'll work on my master's. <laughs> I like it, let's do that. And as always. My name's Nikki, this is Michelle, my wife, from New Hampshire. Don't miss the magic and don't miss the fun. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. <laughs> Subscribe to Rick Flix. Hello, new Flixsters. Sherry McCoy Bricker as an executive producer. Cody McNabb as executive producer, as is Carrie Carter. And then we have a bunch of new producers. Christopher Caramarda, Tony K. Satterfield, Jenny DeRocher, the Three Broom Chicks, Nicole Inslee, and Chandy Scott, and Casey Goff. And then our new supporters are Terry Lynn Chaplin, Stephanie Boyd, Ashley Stanley, Mark Nicholson, Natellus310059, and Katie Fields. Thank you so much for joining the team and supporting the channel.